We were invited to complete the All Ink Living Kitchen because of an ongoing relationship we had developed with All Ink. Uh, back in about 2011, we were asked to come in and talk to them about doing cabinet installations for their cabinet division. Um, this came through a relationship we had with another partner of theirs. Uh, we came highly recommended and, and they felt that this would be a good expansion area for them. So after we'd um, been doing business for quite some time and actually completed some other commercial projects for all, um, this project came up and, and we were the obvious choice for them. We started the process by reviewing some plans and, and discussing what a living kitchen looked like, uh, what they were trying to accomplish with the living, living kitchen. Um, usually our process would be to discuss a client's goals, what they're trying to get uh, accomplished through the project, then their needs, wants, and wishes. So we took that same approach. We looked at the plans, discussed what we saw in the plans, uh, and then set up a large meeting with all the parties involved. That meeting included uh, the designers, uh, Roth Distributing, who distributes the uh, Sub-Zero Wolf appliances in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area, uh, and then the um, key parties at All Inc. We discussed the process, how we'd start, um, complications we might have, how we need to relocate one room to another room. Uh, we discussed finishes. We discussed schedule. Um, there was a tight time there because there was an upcoming event that, that all really wanted to have this, this uh, space functioning for so they could show off what was going to be an awesome uh, special room that would be a place where clients could come in and see and feel and touch the, um, the Sub-Zero and Wolf appliances and actually use them. It's a living kitchen so it's operational. So we conducted the meeting by conference call with the designer. Uh, the Roth distributing people were on site and um, we walked through the space and, and we discussed the process. Uh, we did discuss the expectations, uh, the clients on the client side, uh, the designer side and, and the distributor side. We discussed the schedule and how we achieve it. Um, we outlined um, the, the steps we were going to take and some of our concerns and addressed our concerns. Like any project, after the initial meeting, we have a follow-up email that goes out detailing the things that were covered, um, questions we might still have, concerns, um, all the choices, anything that's relevant to that meeting. For us, the key to success is communication uh, and there's no such thing as over-communicating. Um, so we, we put together that email and, and then exchanged emails back and forth uh, to cover the, the items that were still left open. And then again followed up as we normally would with one more meeting to fine tune the design uh, to work through the remaining issues that are still um, ongoing. And then also to have a site meeting with all of the parties involved, our entire team, uh, to prepare ourselves for the start of construction, what we call, I guess, our pre-construction meeting.